Uh, nice, well played ball game by both clubs. Uh, pitching was really good from both sides. Um, you know, our bullpen did a tremendous job giving us an opportunity to win, and their bullpen was uh, very tough, too. They threw some power arms at us that were very tough. Um, Alex White debuted, uh, very impressive. He kept his composure. Uh, he actually looked like he has been out there before. Pounded the strike zone, 60% of his pitches for strikes, if you take away those eight uh, pitches on the intentional walks. Um, good sink on the ball, good life on it. Got 10 ground outs, and um, just uh, wasn't intimidated at all. They hit two home runs, and that's about it. Um, Ran his pitch count up a little bit because he's a strikeout guy, and usually those guys throw more pitches, but we like what we see uh, in him. Um, Michael Brantley was uh, the main guy today offensively from uh, at bat number one. He had a good at bat. He had a lot of good at bats the whole day, including that huge uh, home run to tie the ball game, and then started the rally in, uh, in the last inning. So. Great ball game, outstanding April, and you know, just uh, move on to May now, and this is behind us in 30 minutes. What do you do for an encore? It's their first month like this. Hey, you know, we'll see what May brings to us. Uh, it's, uh, it's. Uh, it's not going to start very easy. That's why we we wanted to win this series so bad because we we're heading into into the west. Uh, we're heading to the west coast, and we're going to see some of the best pitchers in in that division in Oakland and in Anaheim. And we know we're going to have to battle. Uh, so that's why it was so important for us to win this series. So uh, it's it's behind us in 30 minutes, as I said. I mean, we need to go out, continue to play good baseball, and uh, and, and things will continue to happen for us. How was the atmosphere of the crowd today? Oh, it was fantastic. It was, uh, you know, it was nice uh, to see so many people in the stadium and, and feel the energy, you know, every pitch, uh, every play. And, and I'm glad they got to see a very good ball game, too, a clean ball game. Probably they wanted the fireworks earlier, but, um, you know, uh, we feel they probably feel better with the win anyway. So, uh, but it, it was good to feel the energy, to feel the energy and to see, uh, you know, our fans here at Ballpark. Did you have a pitch count in mind for Al Whitehead? Were you comfortable with him throwing <coughs> 109 pitches? Uh, we actually only counted 101 because of the aid of the intentional walks. Um, we were, you know, 110 for him would have been the max, and he completed a six inning and no reason to send him back out there. And uh, uh, after that, I thought that, that he, he did a very nice job for six innings. Anyway, it gets that, <coughs> you have to play that many innings and it gets that way in the game. But, uh, what kind of planning, you know, innings ahead do you have to do to use most of your pitching? You, know, you have two guys left. Yeah, well, the first thing you do is uh, the last guy ought to be the, the long man. And that's why Pestano is uh, the last guy. And, you know, right now, uh, you, you go with the order of uh, how the guys are throwing the ball. You go eight, ninth inning with the setup and, and the closer, and then after that, you just follow the order of the guys that are throwing the ball the best and take your chances uh, and, and try to win the ball game. You, you know I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, you, I mean, you stretched uh, with Tony and, and Rafi Perez. Yeah, for two innings. Yeah. Uh, hey, you have to do what you have to do to win the ball game. Worry about today. Tomorrow might rain. And actually, it might rain tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, we have to win the ball game today. and. We'll, we'll find something tomorrow. We'll, we'll, have, we'll have enough innings anyways, you know. Uh, Rafi was, uh, was rested, uh, and, and, and Tony was okay too, so we all got Derby and we have Germano and all those guys for tomorrow. Yeah. Any reason you didn't use Grady size more than Yeah, all right? day off. Uh, that was the, the, the agreement. It was a, a medical day off for him, and it was just completely off. Uh, well you have to be very careful when guys are coming back from surgery. And sometimes when they have to get loose really quick and get into the game and make some drastic uh, movement, it's, uh, uh, it's riskier. Manny, okay, when you're watching Burns the first thing, what were you thinking? You must have thought about this before the game and if you wanted him to face. Yeah, I thought about it yesterday too and uh, just got overly confident and he made me pay for it. And that's something that we did last year a lot uh, uh, during the second half. 
to me, Miguel Torres is the best hitter in the American League, hands down. Uh, you know, I'm not talking about batting average or anything like that. I'm talking about hitter. Uh, he's the most intimidating guy in, in the American League. Um, he hits from the right side. He's not a speedster, and, and you know, he just you can never fool him. And, and when you fool him, he hits the ball off the wall. Uh, I'm not afraid to say that I fear him. I'm petrified of the guy, and um, it's been a while. He did that against me for like five, six years in the National League East when I was over there. And from now on, I mean, it, it's not dis disrespect to the guys that, that hit behind him. We, we respect everybody, but we fear Miggy, and we're not afraid to say it.